So, hi, Simon here. Um, I want to quickly show you a new tool that I just built yesterday. Um, it is able to connect with your watch in touch SDK mode just via a website and output the live sensor stream. And you can also activate, deactivate several um, sensor informations. Um, that's quite cool and you can pause it and also reset stuff and um, when you scroll further here you can also see the data in a table format and send this to as OC message to other devices or applications in your local network um, for people who know OC it's open sound control um, it basically just connects to different applications and make it possible for them to talk. And that is quite powerful if you don't want to use Python or anything and just want a easy to use connection between two applications. Um, yeah, the, this online tool also provides possibility to uh, select which which uh, event you want to send over to the other application. For example, I want tap and uh, the crown rotation. Um, so you see that it flashes up when, you, when it taps, <laughs> little cool things. Um, right. um, the only thing that you need is basically the OC bridge. Like you go on this website and you download the repo i will unzip it here and you just need one file inside of it it's in examples and the bridge js i need to run it with node and then yeah basically now it's running i go to the website restart it connect it to my watch and now I can, for example, see the stream here in this bridge. And the this bridge thing is doing nothing else than passing the message to the network. And now, for example, when I open Max MSP, um, I type in UDP receive and the port number is 5555. I also wrote it down here can change it in the JS file, whatever you want. Print, and then you should be able to see the same stream here. And also when I do the, one moment, I'm gonna deactivate the arm direction. Come on. What's going on? Also, uh, it happens as you see now, that after, after a while the performance drops, uh, and that's because the graph is not optimized for web. I can recommend to download this whole thing and just uh, run it locally. Uh, or you just pause the, pause the plotter. Um, here, when you go to the monitor HTML, uh, you will have the same thing. And oh, actually, this seems to be a bug. Ah, ah, right, right, right. If you want to run it internally, like uh, on your local machine, don't forget to um, run the command. Like, uh, let's open another window and go to like CD, go to the folder, to the build folder. And run npm install because that will fetch all the necessary packages and that is why uh, it couldn't find the plotter and the oc stuff so now it's locally on my machine and that way you shouldn't have any issues uh, with performance and if so just press reconnect and then it should should work um right and what I wanted to show you was here that so now the tap is passed over to Max MSP. 
Oh, also to touch designer. Also a nice tool. Let's add OC in. Select uh, local host as address. Port again, 555. And then you can see it increases the tab count. And I can also add arm direction, info, select, and anything that our touch SDK provides. And you can have fun with that as input. It's pretty nice. Um, all right, that's basically it. Um, if you have any questions or stumble over bugs, let me know. Um, right, that is it.